Ransom bringing it back with another Amiga only 128 gigabytes of Amiga games over 10,000 games now some of her different Amiga CD different uh, file formats but damn if you want to play some Amiga and you want to preset up which is the biggest issue which is just setting it up making it all working look no further Amiga had some killer games for it the chaos engine lemming some of the original classics that we've now grown to love and appreciate all started or a lot of them started here with Amiga uh, this is only working with the Raspberry Pi 3b at the current time but it's totally updated before you had all these update packs to have to do yourself so it's a fully updated Amiga build and uh, you know it has the demos the CD version it even has uh, background music all sorts of great stuff let's check it out all right so here it is let's just go ahead and this is definitely a uh, image where you want to use the select button to jump to a letter if you want something like if you want to go to lemmings I do not start I do not suggest going down the list I suggest you go down here find the letter you want L you click it and then you go from there and you got like labyrinth lasers last ninja leisure shoot Larry and you look you got all the lemmings um, really cool stuff there's also music on this image let's go ahead and start um, in the beginning of the alphabet here while we talk about this image a little bit see what's on here I mean it's gonna have all your Amiga games I'm if you can think of an Amiga game I'm sure it's on here um, it should have pictures on here as well so you got most of the artwork unfortunately there's some games that are just I guess I want to start all the way at the top where's the top start oh man even the numbers right some great games that we play on the arcade now are here so all the file extensions are all labeled for you as well whether they're ADF discs or HDF games um, all right let's go ahead and scroll down so this is a two-year project been working on it for over two years it has over 10,000 games as we saw 4,251 are HDF games 3,075 are ADF disc games there's about 5,400 ADF discs total and then 3,000 games there's about 253 official uh, Amiga CD32 games there's four official CD TV games there's 2238 WHD load games there's 145 WHD load AGA games 104 CD32 WHD load games 15 WHD load CD TV games and lastly 65 WHD load demo games in addition to that there's over 373 original Amiga game music tracks in the mp3 directory so that's gonna allow you to play Wow, we're only on ace <laughs> just, just gives you an idea of how many games is on here um, 703 original Amiga audio that you're probably listening to right now that fades in and out as you uh, play launch games or exit back to emulation station as far as exiting a game um, I'm using F12 myself on a keyboard but uh, other than the keyboard to exit the game some of these games will play 100% with your controller they're bound when you do boot up this image you do need to hook up a keyboard unless you have a PlayStation 3 controller and then you need to configure your controls it will not prompt you to configure your controls or you can go ahead and reset your controls in uh, RetroPie setup and then uh, add your own from there as well wow there's a <laughs> it never ends okay so biggest question he's asked is why is there so many versions of the same game WHD load or HDF games load faster than ADF disc games WHD load and HDF are pre-installed to the hard drive rather than a spinning disc a lot of ADF disc games included in this image do not have WHD load versions. some ADF disc games have trainers compared to WHD load versions of the same game official CD 32 games versus WHD load 32 games official include all CD audio whereas the WHD load versions is only the data HD install without audio so if you want the full experience you're gonna run to run this CD 32 not the WHD load version of that game if possible if it exists in the image okay tags tags are used at the end of every game title and emulation station they represent what version the game is let's take a Turrican games and others for examples so Turrican has a CD TV a version 2 CD TV 
and an ADF Turk on HDF. Um, that's just the difference between a CDTV, ADF, and a WHD load, as he explained earlier. Okay. Some other tags you might want to think about or notice is AGA equals advanced graphic chipset. ECS stands for enhanced chipset. OCS, original chipset. DE is German, French is French, SP is Spanish, Italian is IT, PL is Polish. Uh, what about missing box art? Yes, there are quite a few mixing box arts missing to rare and obscene games that I cannot find box art to, or just never got time to add them in myself. I could have added all the box art by creating covers manually to the games themselves, but then the image would have been released next year. Yeah, that's a lot of work. So maybe you got to get those people over at the Bezel Project to help you out. All right, I want to show you a good amount of games that are on here. I mean, if you guys want to pause the screen at any time, I think this is a great way to do it. So again, it's on an older version of RetroPie to start with. He would have had to um, start with a RetroPie 4.4 to even uh, get it to the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Amiga doesn't really need that extra processing power. So the only reason he'd be doing that is just to get everyone who only has a B plus happy, which um, is not everyone, but it's a, it's a big, maybe he will. But Raspberry Pi 3B non plus still easily available, still being um, supported by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Uh, moving along here, uh, will there be any plans for the future? Uh, maybe. There's still 10 gigabytes free on this 128 gigabyte image. And um, so you never know. He might. Wow, Mortal Kombat, everything's on here. Um, and then lastly, this does come pre overclocked. So if you guys want to. Uh, under, if you want it regular stock clock, you will need to right click on the config.txt and remove the overclock information. But right now it's overclocked to 1.3 gigahertz. So remember the Pi 3B is 1.2 gigahertz and this one is overclocked to 1.3. Not a big deal, a little bit of performance bump there. But uh, as you see, when you scroll through these games like this or when you're playing some of these games, you can, uh, you can get a little bit of performance boost and 1.3 is easily done without a lot of cooling. So what are some of the best games for Amiga according to Google? What do we got? We got Super Frog, Turrican, Shadow of the Beast, The Secret of Monkey Island, Cannon Fodder, Speedball, The Chaos Engine, Another World, Lemmings, Rainbow Islands, Stunt Car Racer, Defender of the Crown, Pinball Dreams, Populations, Zool, It Came from the Desert, Pinball Fantasies, Xenon 2, North and South, Worms, Supercars 2, The Settlers, Frontier, Run and Tumped, and we're done here. Let's go ahead and try some of these out. Dune 2, Alien Breed, I played that in the past, that's really cool. Indiana Jones is on here as well. Let's try Speedball 2 Deluxe. Oh, shoot, we gotta get this guy. Oh. Where's my guy? There we go. Oh, they can tackle the goalie? Oh, and there's replays. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. Why does he always throw it over there? Oh, bank shots, even? Let's just run it. Oh, I thought we could run it the whole way. Oh, it's very much like um, Blades of Steel.
So this is cool, you get to use your mouse. If you have a mouse plugged in. I should have grenades, right? Yeah. So you get rockets with your right click and then left click is your machine gun. Oh man, this is getting hard. Oh, terminated. Wow, so there you have it. I need to spend a lot more time on this thing. So many good games on this thing. Indiana Jones, Terminator. Some of the same titles started here on the Amiga. And uh, it really was a great, great, great system. So great to see an image giving it the uh, attention it deserves. So with all that said, I gotta give this one an A. I mean, hell yeah. I would say the only thing to make it even better would be if it was on RetroPie version 4.4. But for someone to go in and do all of that stuff, it's just awesome. I know 70% of people would never wanna do this on their own, especially with Amiga, because CD-based games often do have a little bit more issues, especially these older games. So. A lot of work, a lot of people love the last version. I remember that video got a lot of response and there was a lot of people talking in the community as well. So I know you guys are gonna like this one as well. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.